Hi everyone, today I've added Firebase Auth to my Google Cloud functions and I've created, the, created this very simple test client to show you how it works. So, if I hit a get, um, it's showing me that there's no bearer token because I haven't sent a bearer token. If I inspect and go to the network, You can see that this is my response, a 401 unauthorized. So it's quite good, that's what we want because we haven't signed in yet. If I sign in with an account I created earlier, and then call the APIs, so you can see it's managed to make the call to get drill tokens and then it's decoded the token and if I were to inspect this further again and call an API I can see the response. That's an example of um, adding auth to your Google Cloud functions using Firebase. It's pretty simple and easy to set up, so I'll just show you a bit about that. So first up, create your uh, go to the Firebase console and create your Firebase project, and then go to authentication. You'll need to enable a sign-in method, so I've chosen to enable email and password. But there's other things like GitHub and Google and Facebook, pretty much everything. You can see any users that have signed up here. So here's my user. Um, and that's and it tells you all these extra credentials you need. So the code for it is also pretty simple. To demo it, I've created a very basic React website. And I've um, installed Firebase. So first up, you get this Firebase config from Google um, and you just copy and paste it in and initialize your app with that config and then you can get the auth. Um, that will enable you to sign people in, sign people out and create users. So on sign out button click, I want to sign out um, I've also want to create a user with password, email and password. It's all just pretty basic um, code that Firebase tells you how to implement, but you can copy and paste it out of my code. It will be available on GitHub after this. Um, And the other part is when you are calling your API, you'll want to set the authorization header um, with a bearer token. And to get that bearer token, you'll use the current user, which you've set on um, login or create, and you'll get their ID token. And then you'll call the URL with that options. So if I go look at the um, API calls, this is how it looks. First up, I've um, installed a new NPM package. It's um, the Firebase admin package. And I am initializing my admin with the service account. Now, to get the service account JSON, you need to go back to your Firebase project. I'll go to the project settings. Go to service accounts. And 
generate a new private key and that will download a file which you can then put in your folder alongside your controller. Um, notice how it's not going to be committed to Git. Um, that's because you could, shouldn't share it in your code repos because it's got a private key and it'll give people full control over your Firebase project if it's leaked. So it's definitely good to keep that pretty, pretty private. So basically what I've changed here is I now verify requests before calling a callback which does the logic of my endpoint. So if I look at verify request, what it does is it checks the authorization headers and if there isn't one, then it sends a 401 HTTP status to indicate that it's an unauthorized access. If there is an authorization token, then the admin, um, Firebase admin will go off and verify that token. And if it succeeds at verifying the token, then it will call your callback with the um, API logic. And if it doesn't, then it will send a 401 error again because it's unauthorized access. So that's pretty, pretty simple and easy to set up and you get quite a lot of free authorizations with the um, Firebase auth, so I really recommend it. All my code's on GitHub, so you can check it out there and have a play with it.